Okay, everyone. So here I am with my complimentary tile. Um, blue, violet, and yellow, orange are my complimentary colors. Um, and what I'm going to do now is I'm going to watercolor the background. But when I put my connecting tile up, there's a couple of things I see. I've got to make this pink and I've got to bring it down into here and then fade it into yellow orange. So that's what I'm gonna do. So here's my watercolors. I remember we're hydrating them. Um, I'm gonna get my magenta, my orange, and my yellow. Those are the only colors I'm using. And a little bit of blue, violet, and blue, just for that initial um, color. So I'm just going to move all this, take this out so I can see that. So here I've got this, I've got this. I'm going to take this brush and I'm going to mix some of that color so that I can start painting up in. Let's see here, is that the color? So this is the color. I'm trying to match that color. I'm just going to put that there. A little bit of water. I'm just gonna roll. I'm gonna take a little bit more magenta, and then I'm just gonna go in and start painting. Now, I'm not going that far. I'm just gonna go a little bit. I don't know about this far in. Take it this far down like that. Get my brush. Fade it over. More magenta, my brush, fade it over. Okay, my brush, brush, and then I'm just gonna take some water and I'm gonna pull it. Remember when I told you how to use the water to pull the color? That's what I'm gonna do because I've got to fade it into yellow orange now. So how I'm gonna do that is I'm going to, I'm gonna bring everything off the edge um, just because I'm thinking about adding, when I add, so I'm gonna make my yellow orange now. I'm gonna use my bigger brush, get that yellow orange. Oh, look what I did to my yellow, oh, yellow orange. I'm just gonna make a whole bunch of yellow orange up here. Okay. So here it is. And now I'm gonna take my yellow orange and I'm gonna paint it up into that edge into that faded edge just like that and that's what i'm going to do first is that fade in i'm going to take that yellow orange and just go right into that red violet not all the way up just a little i have i still have that red violet in case i need it to go and kind of fade that in like that but yeah that's what i'm doing and then i'm going to take my yellow orange and i'm just going to paint watercolor around, go into my, if I need my red violet, I'll take it and, and soften it. So I'll take my red violet here and then I'll get my yellow orange. I'll paint that like that. Come around, paint my yellow orange. And then I'll just keep on heading down. There's my yellow orange. Yellow orange. You can always take water and lighten it if you'd like. So I take, sometimes I'll take a little water and just pull my color down. Some of you might want it really strong. That's really your design call and your aesthetic. But this is my, using my monochromatic tile, which is blue violet, this is my complementary color scheme. Uh, yellow, orange, and blue violet. So here they are. I'm just going to go here like that. 
and just like that. Just like that. Just like that. Now I'm gonna go off the edge. You never know, cause we are we might have to you know work on the transition a little. So um, we're gonna see how it all looks, and you know we're gonna have refining to do, which is going back and like refining it. So that is something that we need to do here. And then there we go. Here we go. There it is. Go. And it, I'm bringing my watercolor off the edge because you just never know how you're going to because we have one more color study to do and um, you just really want it to do that here. So. So while I'm here, I'm looking at this going, okay, I'm going to take the watercolor and go over this one um, because these were, and I'm going to have to go over and kind of tie that in a little. So I'm just going to mix this a little bit, huh? Sure, it's all tied in. Just gonna bring this out a little. Okay, water, water that, water that down, water that down. I'm gonna go and work a little this here. A little bit on that seam, just a teeny bit. Okay, I'm gonna let this dry and come back and um, put it together. So I gotta let it dry. So yeah, unfortunately there's a third video. I don't know if it drives people crazy, but maybe it does. That would, that would be awesome. Now that I said that, he's probably going to say, it doesn't drive me crazy. I love, I love another video by John. All right. So yeah, we're going to add that together when it dries and get going with our next panel here. So there it is.